Felix Schneiders is a part of the Team Online PokerStars Ambassadors. Now, he has over 20,000 followers on Instagram, and I thought it'd be good to sit down with him and get his top five tips on how to successfully grow an audience poker-related on Instagram. Take it away, Felix. Okay, so number one would be make valuable poker content, and that's either by um, giving people strategy or giving them entertainment. Number two would be involve your audience and connect with them. That's either through DMs or through the comments, reply to comments and also involve and respect your audience, discuss with them and just make it um, such that you have a connection with them. Being authentic is number three. That's the key point actually. That would be my number one on the list because if you pretend to be somebody who knows it all in poker or uh, who's just here to show off with uh, big pictures or like big money or whatever you, you win or what you play, um, that's that might look cool, but in the end, it's not what makes you connect and build uh, a relationship with your audience. Number four would be don't plug too many ads on your channel. Um, it's just distracting. I mean, you can advertise, but if you do, then I would go with a very authentic way and a very natural way, just while you use a product or while you use something, advertise for it. But other, other than that, advertising on your channel just distracts your audience and will make them uh, eventually just less likely to follow you around. Number five would be um, be consistent. It's very important that your community knows that you're there and that you're posting on a regular basis. It doesn't have to, have to be the same times every day, but just like when you start a project, finish it, talk about it. When you start a story, finish it. And also just give the impression that you know that you're there for the long run as well, just like in poker, and that you just want to put out content on a consistent basis.